Hi. Welcome back to Hiwen Skara Robot Tutorial 3. We will learn basic instructions such as I.O., timer, counter, if else statement, and wait command. In a typical control system, the robot is connected to an upper control such as PLC. The PLC can send the I.O. command to the robot to perform a specific task in the system. Of course, our Hiwen Skara robot can receive protocol command but that will be explaining in the next episode. The wiring can be NPN or PNP, based on the user's requirement. The programming environment in Caterpillar is similar to C or C++. You can implement a timer and a counter in the logic. As you may notice, before starting and ending a timer, the wait sec zero command is added. This is to stop pre-reading by the continuous path trajectory that we explained in the last tutorial. The counter can be used as a process memory, sometimes a state machine value. If else statement can be used for branching the logic selection. In this case, if n is greater than 0, the robot will move to point 0 instead of point 1. The wait command can be used to wait a defined time in seconds or to wait for digital input. OK, let's look at the actual program. The program combined all the instructions we learned just now. It begins from a homing position, P0, then waits for digital input to be true. Next, timer 1 will be started. If digital input 2 is enabled, it will go to P1, else, it will go to P2. The counter will be incremented once the cycle is completed. Let's see the robot in action. We can simulate the I.O. in the software instead of the actual wiring. Once the robot stops, we can check the timer and counter value. Okay. I hope you learned something today. See you in the next video.